Hours before the external affairs minister arrived in Washington to co-chair the third U.S.-India strategic dialogue, his American counterpart Hillary Clinton has announced that the Obama administration was exempting India from Iran oil sanctions because of a perceptible drop in crude imports from Tehran. My colleague Sarah Jacob has more on Iron America. President Obama has held up Washington's relationship with India as one of the defining partnerships of the 21st century. But trade disputes and complaints from American companies that it's difficult to do business in India have strained ties. India's imports of crude oil from Iran have also proved to be frustrating here in Washington. As Tehran's second largest crude oil importer, India is crucial to Washington's efforts to clamp down on Iran's nuclear program, which the Western powers say is aimed at building nuclear weapons. And so the Obama administration's announcement that India is being exempted from sanctions coming on the eve of the third strategic Indo-US dialogue is significant because it ensures that the crucial and multi-pronged strategic dialogue is not held hostage to the dispute on Iran. And for now, at least one controversial issue is taken off the table. Well, today we have two of the women behind the U.S.-India relationship going anywhere. Both are ambassadors. Thank you so much for speaking to us on NDTV. Ma'am, there are a lot of naysayers who say the Indo-U.S. relationship hasn't gone as far as one would have hoped a few years ago. What would you say in response to them? Uh, well, I would say an emphatic no, uh, because the relationship is going places, and uh, that we have a lot of achievements to show for that. And uh, the fact that we are having the third strategic dialogue meeting in a few days from now, in which um, both our governments will take stock of uh, the progress that we have made in the last uh, few months and in the last year, and the actual tangible achievements that we have to show to our credit as far as this relationship is concerned, I think will put to rest any doubts or questions or, uh, or lingering you know, reservations that some may have about the future of this relationship. I think the relationship is in a very good place and the future for this relationship is very bright. Let me echo Ambassador Rao's comments. I think that also that the strategic dialogue is a great symbol for the official uh, relationship that we have and how broad it is, how deep it is, how much it is achieving. I will take a page out of what she said earlier in our meeting today, just emphasizing how important the people-to-people -people relationship is that isn't going to be highlighted so much this week. But uh, the students who are here, the businessmen, the contacts that are daily between our two countries that underlie. And so I, I would agree with her emphasis and her emphaticness that it is certainly a very vibrant relationship. Ambassador, one more question. You know, the economic uh, recession is also having its impact in India. The U.S. and people like you who have been working on this relationship have been patient to an extent, but also time's running out for you. The elections are coming up. How much more patience can you have with India? There's a retroactive tax problem. There's the investment in India problem, supposedly a policy paralysis that some people are worried about. Um, how much longer do you think America's patience will last? I think this is a... a question for our companies, and obviously those are individual business decisions that they make. But the companies that I've talked to uh, recognize that India is a long-term investment. They're anxious to get started. They would very, very much like to expand what they're doing. And they see some of these issues as impediments to that. But they also see the future of India and its economics and want to be very much a part of that. I think the discussion on these issues with the United States and with the companies concerned is very candid, very transparent, very open. And it is a, you know, a, a, a debate and a discussion that is ongoing. But I think the central point that we have sought to emphasize when we speak to audiences in this country is that India is committed to the path of reform and liberalization, that business ties are very important for this relationship, and we are committed to creating that climate for investment and for the strengthening of business ties. And lastly, <laughs> one last question. For the first time, we have two women in the positions of ambassadors. You both share a great dynamic. We have Secretary Clinton here in the U.S. Um, 
what is it like to work with the two of you and does being a woman bring anything to this relationship? I think we uh, have had a very good relationship. I obviously have come to it a little bit later. Ambassador Rao has been here much longer than I've been in India, but we're working very closely together and I think that's typical of women working together. Absolutely. I think we're just being, uh, you know, the fact that we are two women ambassadors in in Delhi and Washington at the same time, I believe is good for the relationship. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.